Welcome back to Money Makes. My name is Callie, and today we are going to be making the fluffiest chocolate chip pancakes. So, this recipe is so incredibly easy. It's perfect for a lazy Sunday morning, and you are absolutely going to love it. So, let's jump right in. But before we begin, as always, please remember to subscribe, like, share, chat in the comment section, and follow me on social media for more recipes and additional content. So, let's get into it. These are the ingredients that we are going to be using. We have some all purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, some sugar. I have some salt. I also have some dark chocolate chips. You don't have to use dark chocolate chips. You can use whatever you like. I'm a dark, dark chocolate girl, so that's what I'm gonna be using. I also have some vanilla. I have some melted butter. I have here a couple of egg yolks that are separated from the egg whites, and we'll talk about why we're doing that in a minute. And also I have some buttermilk, and that's it. So, let's get right into it. Okay, first things first, we're gonna take all of our dry ingredients, and we're gonna give them a whisk. Okay, so now that that is all combined, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in all of our white ingredients except for our egg whites. We're gonna add those in just a moment. But first, we're gonna go in with our vanilla, our melted butter, our egg yolks, and of course, our buttermilk. You did not think we'd be making pancakes without buttermilk, right? It is the absolute best um, to make just a really fluffy pancake, but you could always substitute any kind of milk or dairy-free milk um, if that's what you prefer. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna give this a stir until it is just combined. The trick to making a really good pancake is not over mixing it. So just give it a quick whisk. If it's still kind of lumpy and bumpy, that is fine. That's exactly what we're looking for. So like this right here, this is all I'm gonna mix it. There's still plenty of lumps and that's okay because we still also have our egg whites to add in, which we are going to do at this point. And so this is actually a trick that I learned from um, Tasty, and what you do to achieve a really fluffy pancake without having to whisk the egg whites separate and then fold them into the batter, because that's just kind of a lot of work for you know a Sunday morning or an easy breakfast. All you have to do to get the same effect you'd get from whipping the egg whites is to just fold in the egg whites separately from the egg yolks and you get the same type of fluffy pancake that you would get if you were to you know, take the time to actually whip the egg whites. So this is a really, really great trick. I do it every time. So I highly recommend you do the same as well. So all we're gonna do is just fold in these egg whites until you don't see any of that kind of runny um, egg white running through the batter. But again, do not over mix. Okay, so this is looking good. It only takes a few seconds. So next up, what we are gonna do is we're gonna let this batter sit for about 10 minutes or so, and in that 10 minutes, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna give the gluten a chance to relax, you don't end up getting a really tough pancake, and during this time, some of those lumps and bumps that you notice throughout the batter are going to hydrate with um, all the liquid in the batter, so that's gonna happen during that 10 minutes as well. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit, and then we are going to make some pancakes. Okay, so my pancake batter is done. It's been sitting for 10 minutes, and here I have a nonstick pan heating up over medium low. So, medium low is the sweet spot you wanna be baking your pancakes on, and the reason for that is I find if you turn the heat up to medium, what's gonna happen is you're just gonna scorch the pancake. It's gonna cook um, a lot on either side, but it's not gonna cook all the way through, which of course we don't want. And anything lower than medium low, like cooking the pancakes on low, it's gonna take you till next Tuesday to make a pancake. So, medium low is the way to go. And once this pan gets hot, what I'm gonna do is just spray it with some nonstick spray, or you could use a little bit of vegetable or canola oil, any kind of neutral oil. And I just kind of take a paper towel and smear it around um, the surface of the pan. And the reason why I like using oil to cook pancakes in rather than butter is because butter burns quicker than oil. So I find that I just get a much better pancake cooking it with oil. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So my burner takes a little bit to heat up. So I'm gonna let it get warm and then we're gonna make some pancakes. So my batter has been sitting for exactly 10 minutes, it's ready to go, and so now I'm gonna add about a heaping tablespoon of the batter onto the pan, and I just kinda like spreading it out just to kinda even out the batter on every side. And to this, we are gonna add some chocolate. Add as much or as little chocolate as you like. It all depends on what your preference is. And so let's talk how long it's going to take for the pancakes to cook. I find that you'll know when to flip the pancake when you start to see a bunch of little butter bubbles scattered all over the surface of the pancake. When you see a bunch of those bubbles, that's when you're gonna flip the pancake. It will probably take around two or three minutes, but it's not really about the amount of time it takes uh, for the pancake to make. It really is about just looking for all those bubbles scattered across the top of the pancake. And then 
once the pancake is flipped, it takes less time for the second side to cook than the first side. So I would say the second side is gonna take about a minute or so. Um, so I will show you exactly what I mean by a bunch of little bubbles scattered all over the top of the pancake and then we will flip. Okay, so I see a bunch of tiny bubbles. Hopefully you can see as well all over the top of the pancake. So next I'm just going to Give it a little flip and look at how perfect that looks. And now I'm gonna let this cook for, again, like 45 minutes, 45 minutes, not 45 minutes, 45 seconds to about a minute. And then I'm just gonna um, make the rest of these pancakes. And then I'm gonna give you a close up of just how delicious and fluffy and soft these pancakes really are. Okay, so I'm back here with my big stack of pancakes. They are so fluffy, they're so incredibly soft and chocolatey and just completely amazing. I can't wait for you to make these at home. So for the full written recipe and instructions, head to my blog, minimakes.com. I'll put the link for that in the description box below. Click on the link, the recipe will come right up and make these chocolate chip pancakes. I promise you're gonna love them. And let me know what you think because I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.